So last time we saw how you can use vPython as a calculator. Suppose, for example, you have the numbers 5 and 3, and you wanted to take their difference divided by their sum. You can put this formula into vPython, into a print command, just like you can do with a graphing calculator. And if you run it, it will do the calculation for you. So we've got 5 minus 3 gives you 2, divided by 5 plus 3 gives you 8, 2 divided by 8 is a quarter, which is 0.25. Um, and you can make this anything you want. So suppose you had to change that 5 into a 10. So you'd have 7 divided by 13. That's a nasty decimal if ever there were one. Um, and you get out, yeah, definitely a nasty decimal. You get out this thing. And so you could keep doing that. You could keep changing these numbers to be whatever came out of your physics experiment or whatever was there in your problem. Except that the goal of programming is to make the computer do some of the tedious work for you because every time I want to change this first number I've got to change this one too assuming that I'm supposed to keep those the same. A better way to do it is to call these by a variable name. So I could call this one A, call this one A as well, and I could call this one B. I can call this one B as well, not B0, B. There we go. And what I can do is I can tell vPython what A is. Let's call A 10. And I can tell it what B is, 3. And it works just the same way as it does in your algebra class. If you write in your algebra class a equals 10, then that means a is set equal to 10. If you write down b equals 3, that means b is set equal to 3. And so what vPython will do is whenever you write this a as a variable down here, it's going to look back to whatever you last set a as, and it's going to know that a equals 10. Because what you're doing is you're telling the you're telling the program to remember something. You're telling it, I need you to remember the number 10, and I want you to remember it in spot A. I want you to take the number 3, I want you to remember that in spot B. And then what you're doing here is you're accessing A and B, you're accessing those values. So we should get that same nasty decimal that we got. And we do, because it's taking 10 and plugging it in for A, it's taking 3 and plugging it in for B. And then if I wanted to change this back to 5, all I have to do is change this, run the program again, it gives me my quarter. And you notice, all I had to do to change it, I only had to change it once. I only had to change this line here in this one spot as opposed to having to change A here and having to change A here. It also means if I need to change both of them at the same time, it's easier to keep track of. So I can change this to 6 and this to 4. And I don't have to change four things. I only have to change two things. And I get out my new answer. So that's a little lesson on how to use variables in vPython. You can also store calculations as variables. So suppose I wanted to be able to access this later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select it and hit Control X to cut it. I'm going to paste it, Control V up here, and I'm going to set this thing equal to C. And now what I'm going to do, instead of having it print this whole thing, I'm going to take this I'm going to say, okay, vPython, I want you to make this calculation, store it in C, and now print C down here. And it should give me the same result as before. Lo and behold, it does, 0 0.2. I can change this to a 5, dividing by 11 as always, an adventure. And it gives me, uh, let's see, so that should be a 1 divided by an 11. It'll even work if I flip these. So if I flip these, 5 and 6, I've now got 5 minus 6 instead of 6 minus 5, so it'll give me the same thing but negative. And so this is a handy trick storing things in these variables for when you need to call something up later. So for example, suppose I needed to square this number. I could have print oops, C squared. So I can do that, run the program, and it'll give me two numbers. It gives me this number and it gives me that number squared. Of course, when I square a negative number, it comes out positive. You square 9, you get 81, so this is squaring 9 and some chain, so that's 81 plus a little bit, so I that, that, that calculation seems reasonable to me. So that's a little lesson on how to uh, use these variables in vPython. Um, next time, we're going to take a look at how we can uh, use these uh, these variables when we want to make some visuals in vPython because so far we haven't really accessed the visual part of vPython. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.